more. Uh, uh, Abhi, uh, Japan Abhirami is having a problem of uh, using the multiple stages actually. So she says that if you use serial in multiple stages, it's failing actually. So I'm going to simulate it and see whether how it works actually. If you go there, so click on it. Now. So here I will know uh, what happens if you go there. I will know <coughs> uh, what I will do is I'll know go to this place. So let me go to uh, this thing now. Go to setup and maintenance. <coughs> Then click on it. Then no. okay. click on search and then I'll now go to the manage approval groups. Manage percentage. Approval percentage. Group percentage. Let me open it up. Manage approval groups. <clears throat> so let me create a new approval group. I will now create three approval groups now for this purpose. Now I'll now go there. I will now say it's a J05 underscore APP underscore GRP underscore four. I'll go there. So click on plus. I will now add the first participant over here. I will now say it's a J05 underscore EMP1, the only one active one. Okay. So click on save. Fine. So group four is now ready. So if you go on them query on this, don't find that. So I will now see whether they're not fully saved. I'm going to click on save again. And go on it. It's a J05 and then query. I will now have already three one, and then this is the fourth one. If I go, give a go. I will now see. So two, three, four are there. So four, four is the one. And then I will now go and then click the fifth one. So go there. So J05 <coughs> underscore. Uh, APP underscore GRP underscore five. Five means the second employee. I'm going to do it. I'm going to it now. I'm going to put the second employee. So it's a J05 underscore <coughs> EMP two. No. The second employee. I'm going to put it. There you have the first employee and give a save now. It got saved. I'm going to, I will now give a plus and then I will now create one more. Now. So it's J05 underscore uh, APP underscore GRP six. Now. So six is the one. Click on plus now. I will now put the third employee over here. So it's a J05 underscore uh, EMP3. If I give it a tab now, I click on OK. And then click on save now. Go there, click on save. And now make a verification of this one. I will now click on the three of uh, four, five, and six. Now six is not saved. It is not coming. I click on save again. And now see, save is not coming. Wait, so we go there, J05, and then query. Uh, you are getting only five only. Fine. The six is not saved actually. I click on plus now. I will again have to do it. So it's a J05 underscore APP underscore GRP6 now. Click on plus is the employee three actually. J05 underscore EMP3. Give a tap and then click on OK now. And then click on save. Error occurred. Sir, I think, sir, on the left hand side, it is at the first one, sir. Oh. Are the first one already. <laughs> okay, okay. Sorry, sir. No, I am very good. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, so it's already there actually. Fine. GRP6. Oh, I should have given underscore six. How to edit it now? Fine. Well, I think I'll not try to edit it. It is coming fine. I, am, I, I can edit here. Well, that underscore and then six. Fine. Well, I think that will be coming on. I click on save now. Now save comes over here. And three, four, five, six is not getting saved. What is the mistake here? EVP GRP underscore six. Everything I given properly, isn't it? Oh, it's not coming this fine. Click on it. It has to come in the bottom now. Fine. Four, five, six is now coming properly. But so if you click on the four, you'll now see first employee is there. If you click on the fifth, the second employee is there. Click on the sixth. What happens? We have the third employee. Good. Fine. I will now right click and then go there. I will now come out of it. And then I will now go to what I'm now going to configure my this thing. Fine. Manage percentage. Rec percentage. APP percentage. So manage requisition approvals. Abhi has come. Abhi is there. When Abhi comes, so please inform me now. Okay. We have to talk to them. So let me take up a pass. serial now. Fine. So I will now the header one serial. I will not take it up. I will now click on edit rows now. Serial header header pre approval, and then I'm going to take a serial now. So let me disable all these rules now. Fine, go on it. Let me disable everything. Go there, click on disable. Only two rules are there. And I'm going to disable it now. Let me add my rule. I'll click on plus now. I'm going to add it. Go there, click on it. Along with that, uh, uh, <coughs> speech part test one. No, I will not say rule always applies, and then I will not say the high prior, highest priority. Fine, click on okay now. No condition for that. Let's go add action, add action groups. Go there. So go to the place. It's the approval group, and then J05, <coughs> fourth one I'm going to choose. The fourth one I'm choosing it. And then click on OK now. Fine. So this is now going to bring in EMP1 for me. Got it? Oh, EMP1. So click on save and then deploy it. Not deploy it. And then come out and come out of it. Save and close. Fine. So this has to be enabled actually. Rule always applies. So where is my stage participant now? Come on. 
approval record approval group four. So it is a stage participant. It is already enabled. As and when you create it, it is getting enabled and close it now. So I have used the header pre-approval serial now. Then header stage serial I will not use it. I will not use the second one of it. Header stage serial also. So that one, when I edit rules, header stage serial I am going to use it. I click on plus now. I will not use again a stage part participant test two now. So I will not say rule always applies. I will not go for the highest now. Highest now. I click on OK now. <coughs> stage participant set. And I click on add action. Now it will be fifth one. <coughs> So go there, J05, and then give a tab. The fifth one I'm going to use. Am I simulating correctly, Vinod? The simulation is okay now. Nah? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, yes, sir. Uh, sure. And in the previous screen, I think uh, the previous one was not enabled, sir. Okay, is it now enabled? Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. I had enabled. Seven close now. So we had enabled that also. This is the one I have configured, isn't it? I will enable it. I think it is the one. We will now go on and have a look at the final. Click on it. edit rules and then I will now configure it. And go there. So this is the one. I will now see stage part of the test. Fine. It's now having the approval for it. So seven close now. And then here we are now use the second one. No? Fine. This one you enable. Enable. We will again go on and check on this now. Again go on and check on it. So click on edit rules. <coughs> then go there. It's fine. Okay. We will now make the final one now. So go there. So let us know. This is a serial itself. We are having it now. Fine. On the header post approval serial is now having fine. Let me go there. Click on edit now. Abhi, Abhi Rami, where are you? I want you to do this. Computer. So let me disable this. So so much of things are there. It's only mine. Okay. TCS also let me disable it. So that mine will be coming. Up. So click on plus now and I'll add it. So it is a stage part test three now. Make it the highest priority. Okay. Rule always applies. Click on again now. And then I will now add an action. <coughs> Approve group required. So J05 is the sixth one now. That is third employee for us. Sixth one is the third employee. So it's not done. Click on OK now. <coughs> this one. So go there, click on save, and then we will now go there. Save and close. And then deploy from outside now. Right? So all the three are enabled. Fine. The simulation is OK now. Fine. In the header pre approval, one serial. And then here, one serial. And then here, one serial. Fine. What happens? I click on deploy. I'm going to deploy. Now let us see EMP1, EMP2, and EMP3 are coming or not in my requisition. Okay? And right click and then duplicate. <clears throat> Here deployment is going on now. So in the meantime, what happens? I will go there. I will not create a requisition. So go to the procurement and then you go to the purchase requisition. Then do not create any requisition. Muruga, it has to come properly. It is not deployed. I am going to call it shop requisition. Go to the more task and then enter requisition lines and I am going to put the line over here now. So, we'll put it. so all the three from the three different stages, it has to come up. Right? Every stage we use one participant and that to everything on serial actually. In your missions, so many people are working now. So that is the biggest problem actually. <laughs> I have a feeling that only on the BPM only they might have done the fiddling actually. If they fiddle on the BPM, gone. Because fiddling, that's why I didn't touch the BPM at all. Because if I touch it, people will go there and then make a lot of R&D and then spoil it actually. So that's why I didn't even touch it actually. Go there. I will not put J05 and then give a tap. No, fine. Sorry. It will not. J05 and then give a tap. We got only one item that will be coming automatically over here now. Whatever with the quality is not an important one. So once when you are going for a requisition screen again after a long time, what happens? It will be taking a longer time. So you put the quantity and then go to add to cart and then do it. That's why what happens? I always withdraw and then edit. That's so easy for us to do it actually. So go for it. Total quantities on this now. Fine. Click on add to cart. It will be getting added up now. So click on the hyperlink on the cart and then we will go inside and then click on the manage approvals now. <clears throat> okay. Go there. So it has to get added up now. <clears throat> So we are simulating conditions for three different stages on the same serial actually, serial participant. Oh, come on. Come, 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 come. Not coming. I should have withdrawn and edited. No? <laughs> because if you're doing it after a longer time, then what happens? It'll be taking a longer time. No? Click on it. You now go inside. We'll now go to the first of all review and then click on the manage approvals. No, first. So there I have to get all the three employees, EMP1, EMP2, and EMP3. Click on manage approvals. 
So once you click on it, that we have to get all the three employees, one after the other. So, we'll so also, sir, uh, in, in all the three stages, we have a uh, three different participants, right? Exactly. So we, we are not giving the same participant. Uh, this is a, was one participant, this is another participant, this is another participant. And another participant right. okay. So the participant has to be unique, right, sir, for each stage? Mm -hmm. Not necessarily. If you are having same participant, the system will not send a notification to the same participant. Right? Oh, that's so nice. Okay. Okay. I tell you, but where exactly it is not fine. Because now, since we are now completed that activity, uh, I will not tell you that. Because we should not send the notification again to the same participant. That is what uh, the BPM says actually. That is enabled. And that is correct also. There is no need to send him again and again. You approve this requisition. Approve this. That's not a, that is a meaningless one. So send only once a notification, not multiple times. Even though the list building mechanism. Approval is basically a list building mechanism. It is going to build the list of approvers. And then it will be display, displaying over here. now. So that is how it works now. So we'll have to have a look at it. 1012 is the requisition number. So in the meantime, what I'm going to now go there. I'm going to submit for approval also. Let me open up the second employee now. Take a copy of it. And then I'll now open up my Mozilla browser and then log in with the second employee now. So now that J05. EMP2 and click on sign in now. Now it's gone in and go to it. So go to this place. Now it is now showing me all the three ones. See header pre-approval EMP1, header stage EMP2, and then header post approval EMP3. All are coming. Yeah. It's now coming. So there may be some mistake because what happens is that if you have set up something and then somebody would have modified by the time you go there because everybody is working on that now. Fine, this is the biggest problem there. So go there, click on submit now. So I'm submitting it. So it will now go to EMP1 first because that is the first employee. So they have kept even the preparer over here mainly because what happens, he may even love to modify it actually. That is the reason. 101 is not coming. So once when he approves, then what happens, it will be coming. So it will be coming on the bell icon. Bell icon notifications are getting delayed. So you should not wait for that now. Fine, go that click on it. I will now click on this place now. <clears throat> I will now right click and then duplicate. And click on it. It's okay. I will now right click and then duplicate. Right click and then duplicate and then go on more screen. In this screen, uh, what I will do is uh, I will now keep it over here. Fine, so here I will now uh, I will now go to what you click on the navigator icon on the left task and then go to the tools and then go to the work list more click on the more click on the more tools and then in some places it is not work list it is approvals actually tools approvals in some places it is a work list so whichever way it comes you have to use it now go there. so it is now building the task one zero one two is a requisition and go right click on it let us now open up fine it is already come and click on it now approve requisitions come let me approve it so once when I approve it what happens it has to go to EMP two now. You know, see whether the complete cycle is getting completed or not. So that indicates that you can use anything of any 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 stage actually. If I click on approve, I'm almost ready now. So go that one. Actions, I will now add a comment also. Go that one. I will now add a comment. Add comments. Fine. Approved by EMP1 now. I click on save now. And then click on approve. So we are adding a comment. And then I'm going to click on approval. So by which it will have to go to Fine, it has to go to the next person. Fine, come on. Fine. <clears throat> okay, I will now say. Fine, click on submit. So, approval command is okay, whereas that is approval by EMP1 now. Fine. So, a comment has been added, and then approval comments is also added. Additional comments and then comments both are added now. So, it's now gone. It will now vanish. It has vanished actually. Now, we'll now go there and then have a look at this one. I will now click on the pending approval. Fine, you can now see EMP1 has completed, and then it will have been marked to EMP2. There will be a tick mark on the EMP1. The yeah, tick mark has come now. Fine. So EMP1 has now given a tick mark and then it has now been marked to EMP2. So that is why it's in blue color actually. It is now in blue color. Now EMP2 will now take an action. So go there. You will now click on the icon, bell icon. Sometimes it comes fine. It is not coming actually. Fine. Go there. Click on the work list and then have a look at it. Click on work list and then go there. Go to the more and then go to the tools. <clears throat> go to the tools and then go to the work list. Now fine. You'll be having it. So you can use any combination, whatever way you want. Okay? There is not a problem. Approve requisition 1012. Tomorrow, I'm going to demonstrate the complete uh, approvals of the job supervisor and position on a vision instance, actually. vision hierarchy, vision interface. Actually. So once when you do it, it will be very fast. 
I will not go there. At what timing you will keep? Yeah, who's you? Yeah, at seven thirty p.m. I already told na. I have written it there. Acha, so that was for tomorrow. Okay, I thought that. So on Wednesday I have written okay. Ah, okay. Approval by EMP two. I'm going to click on save now, and then I will know in Google's place and then click on approve now. Oh God, I want Abby now. She is not there. She is sleeping. <clears throat> I will now put okay, okay. There I have given only one okay. Now I am giving double okay here now. So it is now getting uploaded. And then this notification worklist will vanish now. So go there. One zero one two go gone. Now. So we will now log out and then log in as the MP3 actually. Log in as the MP3. In the meantime, I will now go there. Go to the main one now. And then you will now see MP2 would have uploaded. Now. And click on done and then come back. And then you can now click on the what's called. Pending approval. Now you can see the EMP2 would have approved. Now. Go there, go there. So EMP2 was also approved. So whatever the comments you can very well see on the camera icon. Right? EMP2 has given a comment. Fine. Click on the camera icon and then you can see this. The camera icon of the EMP2 will now give the comments whatever he has passed. Actually, the comments can be seen now. So you can now say okay, okay, and then okay. So the comments are also seen. even the previous employees' comments also approved by EMP1, EMP2. Fine. So this is the additional added comments, and then this is the approval comment. Actually, everything is coming. Now it is not lying with the MP3. Actually, so let us now go there and then log in as a MP3. Then click on confirm and then go there. Will now log in as a MP3. <clears throat> go there. This is a J05 underscore EMP3. So go there. When I am doing it, looks like so easy, na? <laughs> well, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> When you're doing it, you'll be getting stuck. Mainly because you're getting stuck because so many guys are modifying so many things. Basically, that is the biggest problem. Everybody fiddles around, and then something doesn't work here and there. Mainly because you would have done some configuration there. By then you go there, it will not the configuration would have been changed actually. Right? That is the biggest problem. So tools, and then go to the worklist now. Right? The third employee's worklist. I'm going over there. The task this is now getting built. I know that. Now you can see in three different places actually all the comments. Actually. Not three, uh, I think two. Camera icon is one, and then you can even after the document is uploaded, you can even go to the document history and then have a look at it. So it's all come now. Fine, go there. So I will now add a comment over here. Now, fine, click on add comment. I will now say approved by EMP three. And click on save now. So go to the actions then. There is a none. Click on approve now. I will now say triple okay now. Okay, okay, okay. Can click on submit. That's it. Now the notification will vanish. So go the notification. It has vanished now. Fine. We'll now go to the main screen and then here we'll go done now. Fine. Come back and then make a check of it. Go there. And the pending approvals. I'm going to check. Fine. Click on this. Oh God! It has got approved. So it has been waiting on the pending approval. I can even click on the line now. Fine. But it has before I go out, it has now already got. <laughs> so we cannot. We don't. We lost the hyperlink for this now. Only for the pending approval, we'll be having it. So click on insert. Also, you'll not be having any hyper hyperlink actually. I click on it. You'll not have any hyperlink. So one thing is you have to go to the document history and then have a look at it. Go to the actions and then go to view document history through which you can do it. And view document history will not show it. So actions view document history I'm going to show. And then there you can see all the people's comment. Here you see the approval comments are not shown over here. Okay, 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 okay. Everything has come over here. The approval comments are coming, but additional comments. If you click on the hyperlink on the submit requisition, we will see whether you can get the additional added comments. The added comments where to see? Click on this. Yeah, here it's come. If you click on the submit requisition here, we can see the additional comments. Whatever has been given now, and everything is now coming. So approved, pre-approval, header pre-approval, header stage, and then header post-approval. Everything is now there. So you go to the GMP one's uh, camera icon now. Here you can now see this GMP one's camera icon. You can see the additional comments which he has written actually there. Come on, I want to have Abhi over here to see what exactly what is the other problem she is facing. I want to have a look at it. So everybody's uh, comments as well as additional comments are also coming. So approved by EMP one, EMP two, EMP three are additional comments, added comments, and then these are all the approval comments actually. And then the entire thing, the document itself has been attached as a PDF actually. So one, uh, all the camera icons will be showing you the same thing only. And forget about the parallel. I don't know what exactly it means by parallel. Right? Parallel, I am not aware of it. Camera icons are there, so which you can do it now. And I will not tell you about the what's called the task configuration of. Yeah. So, so here the priority was set as uh, medium, I and I here, is it? Uh, 
and everything is high priority i given high priority only equal priority okay so three different stages but in fact what happens if you go for one more participant on the same stage everything will be put in parallel actually one after one one by the side of one so that is not correct at all so in every stage you are supposed to use only one participant Parameshwar, are you clear upon this now? Fine. If you are clear, you can even leave for home now. He is waiting only for this to uh, look at it now. Fine. It will take yeah, a yeah. few minutes for him to leave. Actually, fine. He can now leave at any time. Now, fine. Tomorrow at 7:30 p.m. from office itself, you can join. Sure. So the sir. concept is clear for you, Parameshwar. Yeah, yeah. Good. Now, fine. Okay. You are now aware of it. Now, fine. I know that you may be knowing it. Actually. Good. So now, uh, only one uh, thing you have to do. Now, I will not go on and show it to you. I will not go on. I will not go to what. I will not show you the task configuration because that is the toughest part. And then, if you fiddle around, so many things will not work at all. With the half knowledge, people fiddle around. That is the biggest problem. Actually. So go there. Go to the manage percentage, task percentage, uh, uh, manage task configuration or procurement. <clears throat> You put manage task configuration. You're getting some thing. You know, go to the manage task configuration of procurement now. So I will now query for the rec approval now. R E Q capital rec approval, and then you have to give a go, give a go on this now. Find what is coming. Click on the rec approval. Now. So if you go to the rec approval and then have a look at the configuration, you can now see a lot of things are there. So you can use for different stages the same serial itself or serial parallel. First is serial, next is parallel. Whichever way you want, you can work. Fine. Nothing is going to stop you from doing it. If it is not working on that instance, that means what? There is a problem or somebody has fiddled around on the BPM. BPM fiddling, that's all gone. With a half knowledge, they fiddle around. That's why since I don't know, I don't do much upon this at all. I don't even touch this since I don't know. I will not click on the configuration of this rec approval and go there. Here, what happens? Allow all participants to route tasks to other participants. Fine. Everything is we are allowing it actually. So anyway, this claim we are unable to understand. I created one more employee also, two two, and then there are two employees, two and two two are there. And then when the during the position approvals, I thought that it will go to both, but it is not going. It is going only to alphabetically first employee, or we can say alpha numerically first employee. So what do you mean by claim? I am unable to understand now. Yesterday we were struggling on the claim now. I am unable to understand. So I thought that I will be getting clarity once when I have two employees on the same position. But again, I am in a mess actually. I don't understand this claim. And then complete task immediately. Fine. Everything is enabled actually. Only thing is what is not enabled is what if you say uh, approve preconditions, mandate commands before updating. No commands are required. It is optional only. You can even send it now. The form just like. But here I am not getting any what's called messages at all. Fine. Messages are not coming to me at all. See, only when it is approved. The requester is now getting a message. I'm not getting a message, but the successive approvals do not get any message at all. That is the problem. I will not go there. I will not open up. N for Nana is my second one now. Fine, brother. N for Nana is the one. I want. It is not getting it. Actually. I'm not getting it. I will tell you about how to configure the emails actually. Fine, uh, which uh, Venkat has already taught us now. Fine, I with that whatever I went and then I seen it actually. So in the work list, if you add your What's called AIC role, then you'll be getting it actually. If you have the AIC role, you'll be getting the administration tab. Right? And then, this is common for all the users actually. Fine. I will not go to the administration tab. This will be coming only when you have a application implementation consultant role. So here, if you go down, here we have this. Name. So the bottom, what I'm saying, test notification email from display name is not required. It is going to be coming from previous approvers. The attachment the maximum size is 10 MB, and then 10 attachment, that's 10 attachments are allowed actually. This is the place where I configure. Notification mode is all. Oh God, the one. So this has to be fine. There are multiple none, none all none email and then in app for that. I give one, but it is not coming. Some other configurations also required. I think probably in the administration. That is what Venkat has told on this place. The previous approval is not coming from that one. So email from display name. From the previous approval, it has to come up and not going there at all. What else I do? This I am unable to understand at all. These are all Greek and Latin for me. I don't know what exactly to do now. Something here also you have to set up on the administration or not. Fine, I'm not aware of it. So we know you make an R&D on this now. Fine, you give a AAC role okay. to your member, and then he will be having an administration tab region also. Otherwise, you will not be getting it. And then I, when I open the EMP2 also, I'm getting the same thing. Now. In the EMP2 also, if you go there or whatever it is, so you, you click on the bell icon, and then you click on the more details. And then here, if you go there, click 
click on this. I don't think he's having a he, administration. I'm not, I don't think he's having uh, administration coming back. I don't know, given the A0, I don't know what they call it. So EMP3, I'm in EMP3. Whatever I set up on EMP1, everything is appearing the same actually. So that means what? It is across, it is a common for all the LEs, I think. This setup is common for all the LEs actually. So if you have multiple LEs, uh, the same thing is coming over here. Whatever I have set up there in EMP1, EMP3 also you have to see the same thing actually. So it is a, it is a, this administration is common for everybody. So we had to do an analysis and dig, 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 and then see whether this is causing a problem or otherwise this one is causing a problem. Fine, go there. In this place, or I'm not going to this place. There. Go to the task configuration. In the task configuration, whether that is causing a problem or not. I've seen those things. No, and then there is the email preferences are also there. So that also is not exactly uh, unable to understand this. Now. This portion is really very difficult. When I close it down, I will now we go again to this one. What happens? You know, go there, minimize it, and then I will now go to where is it here? <clears throat> I will now go to the manage task configuration to procurement, and then here I will now show you one more thing. Now, find whether rec approval. Okay. So, go to the rec approval, <clears throat> and then here we have one more area called notifications. How to inform the people now, find. apart from the administration. So on the rec approval itself, that is the workflow for this now. Doc approval is for the purchase orders. Rec approval is for the requisitions now. Go there, on it. And then I will not show you on the notification part. I also enabled everything. Kya cheez nahi hai, pata nahi chal raha, <clears throat> I'm getting stuck. Uh, uh, can we, uh, matlab, from BPM to UI, that uh, this UI and UI to BPM, it's matlab, there is like that. Uh, is there anything I'll like? Tell you one second. I go to the notifications now. Fine. UI to BPM, I will not show you. See, assign approvals is already enabled on the notification. More, you know, more. I know that. So, email from the you know, previous approver is because that is from the administration, the previous approver is coming automatically. Fine. Make notifications secure, not as not right. And then I don't send multiple notifications is not is enabled. No, fine. If a, one person is already sent, uh, uh, multiple notifications is not sent. Hide is not enabled. Fine. Make notifications actionable. Fine. Everything is there. Maybe make notifications actionable. Shall I remove it and then see if I have a doubt on this now? Let me see. I have a doubt on this. So I go there. Let me make the notifications. You go to the notifications. I have a doubt. So let me make it. No, make the notifications actionable. I will not remove it now. I will not remove it. Fine. Make notifications actionable. I'm removing it now. So click on save and then come uh, complain. No, 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 no. Jimmy check on and then click on okay now. <clears throat> I'll now give a comment. So make notifications actionable. I will now remove. No, 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 I'll now see whether it goes or not. Right? All right now. So it is now asking me to start synchronization. Fine. Whenever it gives a warning, you enable the synchronization. Okay. It will be doing in the back end actually. And go to the commit and then let me commit it now. Let me create one more requisition or whatever. This itself I will now withdraw and then do it. Now. So, uh, by any chance, is this checkbox? Uh, once we submit the requisition uh, in the approvers uh, notification, we, we can see that approve and reject itself on the top, sir, instead of clicking on the requisition. So will the, is that the one which is controlled email by this function? It has to go on email now. Okay. It has to go on email now, and that is not going. The biggest problem is what? I'm now stuck on the emails, actually. Hmm. Go there. So I will now go to this place. No, I will now. Uh, okay. I will not go to this place. Let me uh, withdraw and then edit now and then submit it. Whether the notifications go there or not, we will not see. So go there. So click on done and then come out of it. Hey, come on. Go fast, fast. Click on done. The BPM motor is okay. Fine. Okay. You click on this area now. Click on whether it goes to home or not. Go home. Okay, fine. Go, there. go to the procurement and then go to the requisition. Let me withdraw and edit. Go there. In this place, <clears throat> what happens? You know, open it up. It's already approved. Come on. Pora Punga. Withdraw and edit. So click on S now. So it is now eligible for edit now. Click on submit directly. Now this time we'll see we have now made some changes now. Make notification actionable. I remove now. So click on save and then submit it directly. Click on save and then click on submit directly. 1012 is now submitted for approval. Now see, it has to go to the first employee now. This guy has to get a notification now. He's the first employee. He's the one. 
come on i want the notification over here now next is what this is the end for now in the next one so afterwards only you'll be getting it now and you're not getting anything now go there put the purchase requisition and then here uh what happens you know done the you know, pending click on the pending approval and then how will it correct now it's not available take some time now so click on done <clears throat> one zero one two has been submitted for approval now so click on the pending approval so in the meantime we'll now go there directly and then try to what happens approve on the first area and then pull the more and then here i go to the tools and then i go to the work list now directly and then let me approve this now. One zero one two will be coming up now. It has been withdrawn and then edit and then it has been submitted. I don't know. Now it to come over here. Come on, refresh it. One zero one two has to come now. Lazy people now, not sending the approval immediately. Oh God. When we want to check, this guy has to get a notification also. What happened on this one? So right click and then duplicate and then we will now see on the requisition is because it's not coming this now. Refresh. Ah, it has come. Click on it. Let me approve it. Approve requisition 1012. Let me approve it. So the second guy has to get a notification. Click on approve. Right. <clears throat> second test. Click on submit. Now EMP2 has to get a notification and then EMP2 is represented by mail N for Nana now. You know, it has to vanish. Go away. It is gone now. So here I have to get a notification. Mm. I now removed the notification as what? Actionable I have removed now. I don't know whether that is the correct or not. So just um, randomly I am taking it actually. So we know you make a check and then inform us about how to do that actually. <laughs> Got it now. <laughs> I am stuck on this now. What to do? Sure, Really, very difficult. Home Sir, we will be doing that vacation rule also. Which one, which one, which one? Vacation rule. Uh, what, what is that you are asking for? Again, tell me. Vacation rule, vacation rule, sir. Vacation rules, uh, we already tested na, yesterday itself. We have tested the vacation rule. It has now gone from two to three. Just watch it now. Vacation rule is already tested. The delegation and the reassign is also tested. Uh, reassign delegate is tested, but we created vacation rule also, sir. No, vacation rules only. When I submit it from one, it has hopped from two to three actually. Automatically. Oh, okay. okay. I have not delegated from vacation rule, but vacation rule I have demonstrated it. Okay, okay, sir. With EMP2. Come on, this guy has to get a notification. He is not getting it. Hey! I couldn't understand this. Where exactly we are doing it. And tomorrow, I will not teach you about how to work on a vision instance. So you are have to create everything and then what happens? You are getting so much of a problem. Within half an hour's time, what happens? You will be ready, up and ready on a vision instance to test. Fine. I will teach you. Just like the 10th video or 16th video where we created everything in 10 minutes of an inventory or for demonstration. Likewise, we have mixed masala, a quick masala, two-minute noodle will be held tomorrow. At 7.30 p.m., please join now. Oh God, only two guys are there. Nobody is there. Sure, sir. <laughs> so if you understood this, can you put a green tick on your uh, participants pane now? We'll not see whether you understood it or not. Done, sir. We know this done. Nishta, have you understood it or not? Yes, sir, understood. <laughs> She's searching for the participants pane. Wait. Oh, okay. so, we are going to see about how to work on a vision instance. On a mission enterprise instance, how to do quickly and then start to test all these things. Sure, sir. 7:30 p.m. India. Okay, man. Yeah. Bye, sure, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you. Bye, sir. Good night. Is not come. Oh God, what to do? <laughs> She's the girl who's having the problem. Sir, actually, she had uh, messaged me. She said, like, I'm an off date. It was working. Oh. I just saw her message. <laughs> So she said uh, tomorrow she will uh, like come and show it to me. So okay, okay. very good, very good, very good. Yes, yeah, sir. Sir, and uh, today uh, I had another uh, clarification for that. That uh, default delivered to organization. The default delivered to organization. Yeah, yeah. That is, uh, I told you, that is acting as a, in the in the 
configure requisitioning business function yeah tell me correct sir correct so like i mean i had that tested with multiple scenarios today uh -huh. so like even if we give it as a child organization over there in the default deliver to organization and if the item is not assigned to child it will not come at all so uh, like i mean in the preferences requisitions requisition preferences if we give the master location mm -hmm. the items are coming okay, okay. that's what i said that is yeah. the combination is fine now you are going to pay for the org then so it is allowing you fine right? correct sir yeah so that was a bit confusing you know like different things and then uh, it's okay but you are not supposed to make it make it correct. always as a master right that is all master right? yeah correct sir so even uh, like i kept it as a master and uh, in this preferences if i give it as a child location whatever it is assigned to the uh, master uh, items very available in master na no? fine naturally correct yeah done sir just say eligibility criteria and so we keep it as a child. I have to procure for master org also. That I will be teaching. Correct. We have right, to procure sir. for master org also. That I will be teaching a bit later actually. Sure, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay then. Bye for now. Bye, sir. Good night. Take care.